Welcome back everyone. Well, Jacob Watts had a fantastic season on the football field for the Scranton Knights and now he's getting ready to hit the hardwood for his senior year. In this week's Get to Know, we'll learn more about him and some of his favorite sports memories from his high school career. The Fox 56 Sports Show Get to Know. This week meets Scranton High School senior Jacob Watts. What's your favorite movie? I have to say my favorite movie is I Am Legend with Will Smith. Do you have a favorite food? My favorite food is definitely my mother's steak. What's the last book you read? My last book I read was The Outsiders. Any hobbies? Um, I tend to just work out and hang out with friends for the most part, but I guess you could say I play some video games, watch some movies. Do you have a celebrity crush? My celebrity crush is uh, Jessica Alba. She's been my crush forever. She's just a beautiful girl. What's your favorite sports memory? Um, the Bell game, definitely going into overtime and having the winning touchdown. It was awesome. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years, I see myself either hopefully in the NFL or just being successful in uh, the business world. How about any hidden talents? My hidden talent is swimming. I'm a great swimmer and uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I've just been good at it since I started and I learned when I was like six or seven or something like that, so. And they don't have any on the swim team yet? <laughs> no, no, I was actually like when I was 12, yeah. The Fox 56 Sports Show, get to know. All right, thank you, Jacob. Let's move along to our athletic trainer's tip. Scott Summers, the head trainer at Marywood University, has been joining us the last few weeks, and tonight his topic is shoulder stability and how it affects athletes' performances. Shoulder stability is really vital for your upper extremity sports, um, your throwing athletes, your baseball, softball, uh, swimmers, volleyball players, tennis players, anybody that is an upper extremity sport that uses their shoulder and arms a lot. A lot of people focus on larger muscle groups like the pecs, the deltoids, biceps, triceps, and they don't focus on muscles like the rotator cuff, the traps and rhomboids, everything that works the shoulder blade and the scapula in the back of the body, and that's really where you get your basis of movement from your shoulder. The shoulder is one of the most complex joints in the body. There's a lot of muscle groups that work this area. There's a great range of motion here, so there's a a lot of muscles that need to work in concert with each other to get a proper range of motion and proper mechanics. Yeah, the rotator cuff, the rhomboids, the traps, everything in the back is really the basis for the rest of the muscles in the shoulder to work properly. They kind of give you the basis for everything else. This needs to be strong to get through the rest of the range of motion. So when you have weak rotator cuff, weak muscles in the, around the shoulder blade, this can lead to strains in the rotator cuff, strains in the rest of the shoulder, shoulder instability, shoulder impingement, and things that are really going to stop you from performing in your sport. Great exercises for the shoulder, especially the rotator cuff, are going to be smaller exercises, a lot of internal rotation, external rotation, things lying on tables, things that aren't going to require a lot of weight being used at once. You're usually going to use one to two pounds at a time to strengthen these muscles up. You make, want to make sure that you're doing these exercises correctly with proper form and proper movement, and that's really going to help you in the long run to do these properly. 